Hi, I'm Willie Howe. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you for being here. If you're a first time visitor, please think about subscribing by hitting that subscribe button and hit that little bell notification. So you will be alerted when I publish tips, tricks, and tutorials for configuring your technology. That's the kind of videos we do over here, whether it's voice over IP networking, um, security. Tonight, we're going to look at some Synology stuff. So, and if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. Let's talk about Synology Surveillance Station. If you haven't seen it, log into your Synology. Most Synologies will run this. They actually make a, a special Synology that is for nothing but surveillance, but it can be loaded on other models. Go to your package center, go to Surveillance Station, and if you haven't seen Surveillance Station, it is an impressive piece of software. So we're going to go ahead and install this. And while it's installing, I mean, they are doing things like you can take your your cell phone and you can install an app and you can use your cell phone as a as a um, as a surveillance camera. And all right, here we go. So we've got some installation settings that we need to look at. We'll go ahead and we'll enable uh, the, the ports and the custom alias and we're gonna run it after it is installed. So it looks like it is installing now. It's going much quicker than I thought. Uh, you can also hook cameras into Surveillance Station and then live stream to YouTube. So if you have a live stream key, you can plug that in and you can live stream right to YouTube. I'm gonna set up a live stream on one of my secondary channels with this and, and probably have that going this weekend. It's just going to be an outdoor camera, just looking at nature. So everybody can go over there and chill out for 20 minutes. I don't know if you can see it behind me. We're not going to use the Ubiquiti Flex, but I do have the Rio Link camera that I did a, that I did a review on along with the NVR. We actually pulled that off the NVR and we're going to stick it on this surveillance station. So surveillance station is now running. So we're going to go ahead and open it and I'm going to zoom in just a little bit here for you. And over here you can see, and we are going to get into this because I believe that along with Axis and some other cameras, that surveillance station is going to completely dominate what I use for an NVR solution in the foreseeable future. Um, we are using it successfully. One of the places that we're using it is a zoo and it's used for husbandry cameras. So, uh, and they absolutely, they absolutely love it. So I'm going to give you a, just a brief overview of everything that's going on here. So if you have cameras set up, you can open this live view and you're going to view all of your cameras here. If you have pan tilt zoom cameras, you can control those from here and you can get alerts. You can do uh, maps, informations. I mean, this, it's got a timeline view that I haven't used this yet, but it looks very similar to other timeline modes that I have used. So we're going to get into that. I've got to get good data into this IP camera. We can add a camera, so we're going to go ahead and add. We'll just do a quick setup, and what we'll do is we'll click this search, and the Rio link is technically supported, but it's probably going to show up under, like, yeah, the uh, general interface, the OnVIF. So we'll go ahead and click OK on that. Uh, but it's not OnVIF. We're going to – I just did that to get the IP. So we're going to scroll down, and you can see, look at all these different manufacturers' cameras that this does support and then you can even do user defined or just generic on vif but we're going to go down to rio link and the model on this is the rlc 410 so we'll drop this down it's right there on top perfect and we'll test this connection and there you can see the uh, receiver on my phone uh, that why I don't think that view right there updates and we'll go ahead and click finish and it is going to add the camera and activate it so we can click the play button here and now you can see this is the live view well I have to turn my my headphones off uh, 
because it was feeding through the camera, through the NVR, because the audio is not shut off and coming through my headphones. And it was kind of scaring me a little bit. But um, we've got different controls down here. We can take a snapshot. So we just, uh, we can download that snapshot. We can edit it. We can delete it. I'm going to go ahead and delete it. We can do uh, drag and zoom. So drag this around, zoom in on it. Nothing crazy going, going on there in the reflection. Um, we can pause. We can do the, you know, turn the volume up and down there. Fixed as aspect ratio. We got a manual recording, so we can come up and we can do custom minute recording. We can tell it we want to record until we uh, manually stop. And then we've got our stream settings, so we can mess around with that. This this is pretty. I'm, I really enjoy Surveillance Station for what I've used for. And they have an app, a companion app, not only to turn your phone into a surveillance camera, but an actual app where you can log into uh, your surveillance station from your phone. Now, like some other manufacturers, you don't have to expose the ports of this to the internet. You can use that Quick Connect. So you can use that connection and not have to open ports and get to your cameras from your phone from outside or from a web browser. So under recordings, you're going to see the recordings that are made here. It's going to have all the dates. We can download, we can play, we can lock. So if we lock that, that means that it can't be deleted or the uh, retention policy will not take effect on that. We can, we can do an export. We can mount other, um, uh, video recordings here. We can mount other storage. You can see too that you can encrypt the storage. And then we've got this advanced, which is forced to rotate settings. So once you know we're watching that storage space and once we start getting low, then we'll start uh, rotating those, those videos. Then what we've got is we've got this application center and you're going to notice a lot of things that say access and that's because Synology is is an access partner and so there's a lot of things that they've got in here that work very well they're designed to work with access cameras real quick it looks like we've got a device pack that needs to be updated so we'll go ahead and do that and it says that the, de the device pack enhances the camera compatibility of surveillance stations so it must just broaden that support for those different types of cameras. And you can see I have played around with the live broadcast. That actually has one of my keys in it, so I'm not going to go into that. But that live broadcast that you see there under the application center, that is the application where you can take any camera that is connected to the Synology and automatically start streaming it out to YouTube. I've got the client management app. You can see we've got the device pack. So let's just take a look at all of these uh, applications that are provided. Looks like we've got an Access Door Controller, Access uh, ACAP. I have no idea what that is. Um, it's, it supports the uh, Access Camera Application Platform. So if you've not done, and, and this could be something totally different, but if you haven't um, played with Access Cameras, they are way more than just cameras like we've got access cameras that their entire function in life is to count the tops of heads that go in and out of doors and report back with a 90 percent confidence rate how many people are in and out of a building we've got the uh, archive vault now there is a cms here that is it's in the same vein as the CMS that we've configured previously, but this is specifically for surveillance station. And then you also have CMS failover, which allows you to set up surveillance station in a failover mode. We've got dual authorization edge recording. So that's, you know, making sure your devices are recording out on an SD card in case the Synology fails. We've got an IO interface, IP speaker, joystick some of these things are just exactly what they you know what they sound like we've got a live view multicast so the live view multicast feature can progress one stream to multiple receivers to reduce bandwidth so that's pretty cool uh, smart time lapse so you can do time lapse with this transactions has to do with you can actually tie the synology 
uh, surveillance station into point of sale systems. And if you've got cameras watching, you can actually, as the sale happens, you can actually uh, make the software display what was purchased on the video. We've got Visual Station, which is the dedicated uh, piece of software, monitoring software for this. What else do we have? We've got the Evidence Integrity Authenticator. So what this does is this is a piece of software. This is fantastic. You download it, you run it against your clips, and it basically verifies that the clips have not been modified. So it's an assurance tool that the integrity of the video has been, has been upheld. You've got the standalone surveillance station client. You've got the transactions compatibility tool, the transactions device uh, simulator, the video transcoder. So you can, it says you can easily add a video file and transcode it to a format compatible with surveillance station. So you can transcode video. I don't know, maybe you need to import video from another NVR. Then here are those mobile apps. You've got the DS cam and the live cam. And then you have an access barcode reader. So this thing is, it's loaded to the hilt with all these different applications, but just even out of the box, the things that, that it can do. We'll come back over here to our live view. And there are so many more options for this that we haven't even touched yet, but I wanted to make sure you were familiar with it. And I think we're going to turn one of my old cell phones into a uh, surveillance into a surveillance camera and then we'll mount a camera out in the workshop and the next time that uh, I fire up the smoker what I'm going to do is I'm going to publish the URL to that secondary live uh, live stream over on YouTube and we'll keep an eye on it that way um, but I I just I can't say enough about this and the cameras when you start adding cameras um, and I think you get one camera for free when you buy your Synology, but the camera packs, I don't think are that bad. Um, relatively inexpensive. Let's, let's pull up, um, we'll pull up Amazon device license pack here. Um, and so you get four cameras for $200. And I will tell you, and I've said this about Synology before, and you can probably get better pricing on that, but I absolutely do not have any quarrels with paying for anything Synology. And the reason I don't have any problems with that is because the stuff just works and that license is good for the life of your Synology. All right, so that is it for this video. If you've got a Synology, go out and try Surveillance Station, even if it's just with the one camera that it comes with. I think you will be pleasantly surprised at the functionality that Synology has built into Surveillance Station. And that's just the, the first video. I'm going to add some of those videos and uh, I'm going to build out my uh, surveillance using Surveillance Station. So if you need IT consulting, you can go to willyhow.com, fill out that contact form and somebody will uh, reach out to you as soon as possible. If we can't help you, we'll get you to a vendor who can. That's our promise to you. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment and share. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. If you want to talk to us on Discord, the link is down below. If you'd like to support the channel uh, on uh, Patreon become, by becoming a patron, thank you to all those folks. And that link is down below. If you'd like to buy any of the gear you see here on the channel, including a Synology, that Amazon link is down below. It doesn't change your price, but it does kick a couple bucks to the channel and is always appreciated. And as always, thank you again for being here and I'll see you in the next video.